Hello, family. Can I just first start off and say how proud I am of each and every one of you for persevering, for fighting off that junk food demon. Because let me tell you, the struggle is real. But maybe the junk food demon got some of you. That's okay, we're not judging. Get back in, don't give up. God knows your heart and God just wants some alone time with you. So do it, you can do it. So today's topic of encouragement is get off the fence. That's right, the big O word, O fence. And see, and in God's word, Jesus warns us that we're gonna get offended. In Luke 7, 1, in the King James Version, it says, it is impossible but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through they come. And then I wanted to look in the dictionary. What does offense mean? And it says to cause, to feel upset, annoyed, resentful, or to feel displeased. Now, who has ever had any of those feelings towards anyone? I'm guilty, I know I have. But see, the key word is feel. Feel is an emotion and we can never ever be led by our emotions because the majority of the time, it goes south, right? So I always tell my kids, for every action, there is a consequence. It could be a positive or it could be a negative. And when we allow offense to take hold with our thoughts and our heart, we miss the mark. And missing the mark is missing God's best for our life. And see, when we only focus on the offense, it's not good. When we need to be focusing on only on God's presence and what he has for our life. And see, ultimately, when we are offended, we're the ones that are losing sleep. We're the ones that are so angry. We're the ones that are so consumed with negative thoughts. And the majority of the time, the one that offended you has no clue and is living his or her best life. It's not worth it. You know, as I was searching, um, I learned that our physical heart has four chambers and so does our spiritual heart. We have also um, four spiritual chambers and I wanna focus on four of those. And the first one is expectation. What is your expectation towards people? You need to know that people will hurt you. People are not perfect and we are all flawed. I know, right? It's a shock. Number two is justice. What is your character? What is your integrity? What do you want to be known by? What legacy do you want to leave behind? And number three is confidence. Where's your confidence in? If it's in God, let him deal with those battles. And number four is your memory. Who are you? I know in the Bible, I don't know how many times it says, but be courageous. So if God is for you, who could be against you? So I encourage you today, take some alone time, journal if you have to, and ask God, take some inventory on your heart in those spiritual chambers and ask God to reveal to you where you need the healing to take place and allow the healing process to start. Because listen, God wakes us up every single day for us to enjoy and to embrace this beautiful day here on earth. So why are we not taking advantage of it and allowing offense to take hold of our heart? So today, make a vow to yourself because you're worth it and refuse to allow the enemy to cause division in your heart. Let go, let God, and soak in the blessings that God has for you. Have an amazing day.